What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little passes at this is dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, your horror safe haven. I'm Chelsea. <laughs> I'm James, and we're married, and we like to get scared together. Yeah. I've got Gressel mic'd up for this episode. Hello, everyone. Uh, because we're going to play a fun little Halloween-themed game. That's right. It was the Halloween podcast, I guess. I guess so, because, yeah, we were off. I, I had to move last week's episode to this week because I was in Danganronpa land <laughs> and could not edit both of these things at the same time. Uh, if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it. It's cool. It's good. It's good. It made me get Danganronpa too. Yeah, Gressel's now playing uh, the second Danganronpa game, which <laughs> yeah. is very exciting to me. How far are you in it? Not very. I'm, I'm still in the prologue. I don't think I, I don't think you're gonna like it. The writing is tough. The writing Mike, is Mike tough. Mike and Beth said they're, you're not gonna like the it. It's too anime for you. It, the writing is difficult. the writing because it's so much reading mm -hmm. of like the text. Mm -hmm. It the right the writing the translation is tough. Mm. I am intrigued though by the mystery game. Yep, that, so that's we'll, what'll we'll get see. you. That, that's we'll what got me too. I was yeah. like, oh, I don't know if I like this, but I need to know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, that's yeah. that's where we're at. That's how it'll happen. Hi, Molly. Yeah, I like the, uh, from what I've only, my only experiences with the kill count and I like the 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 mystery element and then just the, the characters and how they're each like a very different mm -hmm. specific character. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right, well. Today we're gonna we're gonna play a little Halloween game. I've got some some Halloween trivia for you guys. Uh, kind of reminiscent of that one Christmas where it was just like six of us. We had COVID, COVID Christmas. Christmas. COVID 2020. Was that 2020? Yeah. Okay. It was. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was COVID Christmas. I put together Christmas trivia that for was everyone. Blast. And it, was it was a lot of fun. Boy. So this is similar ish. Yeah. Uh, I've got some Halloween statistics. These first few, I got these stats from the National Retail Federation. They track like sales and stuff. Uh, How long have they been doing their thing? I don't know, actually. National it Retail sounds... Federation? That sounds oh. like a 30s thing. Right? Yeah, to me. Yeah. Yeah, they were lobbying Coolidge about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. That That is some post-Gilded Age. Yeah. yeah. What was Coolidge's deal? Did he Silent sell Kale. Uh, he was the laissez-faire president. He was like, business oh. will handle itself. Oh, that's... And then he left office, and then the depression the happened. The depression <laughs> happened. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sick. All right. <laughs> what do you guys think was the most popular costume for adults uh, in 2023? Or, you know, I think this was an internal survey. I think it was a survey asking people what they are going to dress as mm. this year. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So that they can, but it's here's like the marketing thing. research. The whole reason, or one of the reasons we're doing this episode is because we're not talking about struck work. So this isn't going to be IP. That is, I guess that's kind of a hint. A lot of these are either not IP or it's IP, but from like, like not a specific, okay. like a movie or. So what happens if you encountered, you know, a certain uh, white elongated face mask character that's not in any of these that's not in it you didn't run into like when you were doing this research it never like uh characters you, you didn't have to like modify anything based on not really oh the answer to this question is not a popular doll series that was featured in a large movie for the summer no. yeah which it's is shocking. not okay but also barbie's also a toy that's true that's true okay but that's, that's not the answer? That's not the most... In the survey, that is not what most adults said they were going to be for Halloween. Most no. adults said this year, this year they were going to be for Halloween. If that's not the answer, I have no fucking think, idea. Think a bit broader. Like, this is... Okay, uh, I need to dress up for Halloween. Sheet ghost? I know, like, sheet ghost is like... Here, okay, I'll give you I'll give you four options. My answer is always going to be sheet ghost. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I, I was going to see if you could guess it, but I'm going to give you four options. Well, I don't know, four options feels like it's narrowing it down too much. You want to give us, like, maybe just a broad, uh, like, is this thing an ironic costume? No. Let okay. me just give you your four options. Because oh, wow. there's right. a lot of trivia. Oh, I don't right, want right, to be right, stuck right, on okay. this yeah, first yeah, one yeah. the whole yeah, time. Yeah, you do have some pages printed out there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> is it A... A witch, B, cat, 
C, vampire, or D, zombie? I I want to say cat. Uh, I I also want to say cat. I want to say cat. It's witch. Oh, that was witch. my second witch. choice. Yep. But then you came in with cat, and I was like, yeah, Russell's smart. Cat's on the top. Cat <laughs> is on the top mistake. ten list. Cat came in at number five. Do you want me to read the the full list? For ten, yeah, I think mm-hmm. go down it. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, the number. So number one, witch. Number two, vampire. Number three, Barbie. Mm. Okay. Number four, Batman. Number five, cat. Number six, zombie. Number seven, pirate. Number eight, princess. Number nine, ghost. Ten, Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man's a, a tough one because you got to wear a you mask. Gotta have, yeah, yeah, you gotta. I mean, you. I guess you could be Spider Man with the the mask off. off. Yeah. Ma- a mask is a big impediment for me when choosing a costume. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I don't want anything over my face. You know what I thought of, hon? And like, I know we always do uh, couples costumes, or we often do. Yeah. But I do want to maybe next year or. You know, we're always like, oh, uh, we can do multiple costumes in a year because there are multiple Halloween events. And then we always end up just doing the same costume because we get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But I thought of a perfect Halloween costume. Okay. For you. For me to do. Okay. And there would not be an equivalent uh, for you to join me. Okay. And uh, yeah, here's my, I'm going to throw this at you guys. So this was an idea I had and it would be super recognizable to anyone our age. Maybe not younger people. Anyone Student debt. Mr. Allen. <laughs> Mr. Allen. No, no, no. <laughs> Anyone our age I from Metro Mrs. Detroit Allen. and no one else. No, it is not a regional costume. <laughs> it is a costume that would be super recognizable to anyone our age and, uh, you know, probably a little bit older. And I had the idea at the festival this weekend. Peanut butter jelly time banana? No, although that's a pretty <laughs> decent one. Just sunglasses and a yeah. peanut butter belt. And, and carry around a baseball bat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That, okay, you good. had the idea while you were at this music festival, so I'm assuming it's related-ish. It's 100% related to the music I was watching being performed at when we were young. Well, I'm worried I'm not going to know this. No, yeah, you know it. Like no, no, okay. no, 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 you it's guys not, know it. Well, it's not the nurse from Blink the Blink-182 album. It's not, although that would be a good couple's, because like they're not super related, but they're both, I mean, they're I both I could be the, the nurse, festival. and then you could just be naked with a sock on your dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that's no, that's chili peppers. That's right, yeah. that's chili peppers. I would have to have I'm like sorry. a pixelated box around me yeah, while yeah, running yeah. down the street. Funny. Yeah. Um It is from a music video though. It's from a music video. Oh, so I'm not gonna know it. No, dude, I think you would know Am it. I, I think know everyone this? our age would know it. And it's like a it's just a lone kind of costume. There's no counterpart to this. It's just a guy. It, it's a guy. And it's, it'd be a comfortable costume. It'd be pretty recognizable. It comes with dance moves that I could break All out. All I can think of, and it's not the type of music from that festival, is the little milk carton from the Blur music video. No, but that's, no, it is not. But he find, he falls in love with the lady milk carton. Yeah, so that's a couple's costume. No, this guy, this guy emphatically would have a hard time uh, finding romance. What? Even though the singer defends his existence and... Uh, uh, purpose for being. Well, I'm worried I don't know this. The guy from Pretty Fly for a White Guy. Oh. Sideways red cap, big chain, big blue jersey. He wears yeah. those stupid glasses. Yeah, the glasses. And then he does the like a fucking stupid dance. When Offspring performed that song, they had two giant, wavy, wacky, inflatable, arm flailing tube men Were version of that. Like that. Yeah, of that guy. Do you know what I'm talking about, Gressel? No. You don't know that you would he's driving in the convertible. It. And it's like, and all the girlies say, I'm I know pretty the fly. Song. Yeah, I know like, the song, yeah. but. I don't know if I know. I don't think I know the video. No shit. He even appear. That guy appears in their video for uh, my friends got a girl. He like yeah. appears at the end of that video Daddy too because he's so iconic and recognizable. It'd be an excellent costume, and I'm gonna do it next year. <laughs> well, well, now I'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do we think, Molly? You can a- try and answer this one if you want. Molly knows. <laughs> what do we think, uh, when surveyed, was the most popular costume choice for pets in 2023? Ewok. No. Fish. Shark. No. Let me Fish? give you. Let me give you multiple. I meant choice. shark. <laughs> Why do I feel like some lights just like turned off? Or, like, some lights dim? definitely just went. Oh. There was a change. Yeah, it got weird. It Is got... it like dimmer over here? Yes. Yeah. Spooky. It it looks nicer. 
<laughs> I think. Was it? Are you sure it looked like? I what think the it heck looks happened? Right. Huh. I don't know what happened. Is we're, While we're talking about spooky stuff. I think that light turned off. We just had a light um, maybe die. Oops. Oops. <laughs> so. <laughs> spooky. <laughs> sorry for, the, yeah. Sorry for jump cut and change in lighting quality. <laughs> Hope that's not an expensive thing to fix. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that wink. <laughs> is so okay. Most popular costume for pets of 2023. Do we think it's a a devil, b a hot dog, c a bat, or d a pumpkin? Hmm, pumpkin would be baby. I yes. I I like hot dog. I like the shape of a hot dog. Mm-hmm. It's elongated. It fits well. Uh, I do also like the idea of a little devil horns and like if it's one of those costumes where it looks like they have arms it, with a little pitchfork would be pretty funny. Oh, that would that's... be very funny. Yeah. I feel like not needing a hat for a hot dog would be beneficial. Sure. That's something you just strap around their legs and then they can't get out of it and they have to suffer. Oh. Uh, no hat. I'll, 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 we'll go with hot, hot dog. dog. Hot dog. You're both agreeing hot dog. Yeah. yeah. It's actually D pumpkin. What? Oh, that's for babies. That's a baby costume. That's a costume babies. for babies. Pets are babies. No, but they're not shaped like them. They're not squishy like a pumpkin. Molly's shaped like a little baby. She is. She's a little baby. She's a baby. She is <laughs> under the switch table. <laughs> oh Please God. don't unplug anything don't while unplug. you're Maybe there. Molly caused the light. Maybe. <laughs> From your lap. Here's the full list. Number one, pumpkin. Number two, hot dog. Mm-hmm. Three, bat. Four, bumblebee. Five, spider. Six, Devil, seven, a cat. I, like, I, like, what? Yeah, I like a dog, like a dog dressed, dressed as a, dog a cat, dressed as a which cat. is kind of funny. Eight, lion, nine, ghost, and ten, witch. Huh. Okay. I tried to find um, a spider costume for Molly, but I couldn't find Why f- would you do that with yeah. Russell as our No, it would have been like a cute, <laughs> fu- like, it would have had lights on it, and it was like cute cartoony spider. But I couldn't find any where the Amazon reviews weren't a mixed bag, and I didn't feel like <laughs> risking it. All right. What do we think was uh, is the most popular costume choice for kids in 2023? What age are we talking about? Any specifications? I don't have uh, specified ages. Okay. I would guess up to 12. That seems, yeah. That feels yeah. right. That feels right. Not teens. Yeah, 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 yeah. So kids. Right. Okay. Uh, woo. Uh, Do you want choices? Bluey? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know what kids. You can't be a bluey. You can. You be a can. Bluey. For kid. Yeah. You blue the dog. The dog. A, yeah, but like, what's that costume look like? Like it's a little a stylized. Dog. Yeah. Co- okay. it's a, you're just dressed as a dog. Yeah. Well, then yeah. Then you're okay. All right. It's yeah, not bluey. Are, what okay. are options here? A Mario. B mm. Spider Man. C Princess. Or D Ghost. Hmm, would Princess take it from like I think there are more boy options, I assume. Maybe not I, nowadays. I I feel like Spider Man's gotta be up there. Oh, I was thinking I mean Mario he's so hot right now. He's yeah. What was that fourth than, Spider Man's easy to get a kid into. What? Like if you're dressing <laughs> your kids to go trick or treating, yeah. that is an easy costume. Oh, it's just a onesie. Just a, just a onesie. onesie. It's basically yeah. pajamas. Zip, you're done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the other option was ghost. But also then, an easy costume to get a kid yeah, into. Yeah, just throw a sheet on him. Right. Uh, but I feel like you can make any of these costumes onesies. Maybe not princess. But you can have a Mario kind That's of onesie. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say spider Are you locking in Spider-Man? I'm going to say princess. Gressel's correct. It's Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man's Spider-Man. Kids love popular. Spider-Man. Kids fucking love Spider-Man. I mean, I like Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah I guess he's pretty cool. He's Probably, like everyone's yeah. friend, you know? Yeah. That's the, the That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's the feeling I get from mm. Spider Man is he just is like a cool guy. I mean he's not cool, he's kinda of nerdy. Yeah, he's kinda of, he's a nerd, but, but that's fine. That's the appeal. But he's like just yeah. a guy. He's not a billionaire playboy. Yeah. No, he just hangs out with one. He just yeah. yeah. He just enables one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the full list. Number one, Spider Man. Number two, Princess. I not, I'm not sure what 
Yeah. Princess and Are Tails. Are they like grouping, grouping this, all this did princesses not, together? This did not clarify. Sure. It could just be, is it generic, like yeah, pink, like fluffy Tiara, dress? Yeah, Tiara. with like the cone hat. I don't oh, know. Oh, God, like medieval. Pr- I don't think anyone's doing that anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it'd be more kids? like a little tiara, right? I guess, yeah. yeah then the, but the, the cone hat the with, cone like, a hat with ribbon. The, the strap and the, yeah, it has a ribbon. Uh, three, ghost. Four, superhero. Five, witch. Six, Batman. Seven, Barbie. Eight zombie, nine Mario, and ten Wednesday Adams. Objection: Two of what are Spider Man and yeah. Batman, if not superheroes? What superhero? I do. You gotta ask the National <laughs> Retail Federation because I don't know how they. I, I wonder if just these other two are so popular they are just their they own separate yeah, yeah maybe yeah man that reminds me of my lamest fucking Halloween costume which I'm sure I've talked about uh, freshman year of college I was beer man oh which was yeah like you told me about bright beer man. blue and it had a yellow belt with like holsters for beer but I was a fucking child 19 year old yeah. so i couldn't walk you around couldn't with wear beer. It anywhere. yeah i mean i wore it to parties and at the frat parties i would have the beer in there but it didn't have like a little mat it was so stupid for a fucking college freshman to be walking around in like bright ass blue yeah like hello i'm here to get your party shut down <laughs> by the cops you, you probably looked like such a boy yeah <laughs> exactly Just such a child yeah little college me like god damn it james <laughs> All right, our next kind of category of trivia here. I have um, this is this is data according to Reader's Digest. I, I trust Reader's Digest. I feel like they're legit. A lot of uh, different places had different information for for this kind of category. It's the most popular Halloween costumes by year. Ooh, fun. Yeah, and I just use the Reader's Digest stats because I feel like that's an exalted institution. I don't know. It's been <laughs> around forever. You can buy it at the grocery store. I feel like it's They're like real. the little ones, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Why are they so little? I So I picked a handful of different years that I want you two to try and maybe sleuth out what you think the most popular costumes from each of these specific years is. And you're going to have to use maybe some historical knowledge, some kind of, you know, contextual clues, maybe thinking of what was popular then, what was going on in the world. Truman is definitely one. Yeah. Truman was Truman's yo, up there. very With the popular. newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the prop. Dude yeah. beats Truman. Dude beats yeah. Truman, little, yes. A little kid with the little glasses. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Honestly, we have a baby. They're going to be just as that. We can just, we can get like a newspaper made. We can get it printed on like cloth or something. It's a little blanket. Oh, yes. so that, that is be comfy. Adorable. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> What do we think? We're starting off 1950. What do you guys think the most popular costume in 1950 was? And also, I guess for some extra help, all of these are strike friendly. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, GI, soldier. Oh, that sounds good. What do you think? I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give Do you have that. any other... Do you have another guess? Uh, I'm curious. Like, you know, because I, I kind of want to... Yeah, yeah, sure. 1950. 1950s. So, like, what's going on? Oh, Elvis? Oh, no, uh, that's too early. Too early. Early, early, for early for Elvis. Early for astronaut. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire Fireman? Oh, maybe. I don't even know. When did those become uh, public and not... <laughs> <laughs> not private. Not- I, they would have been... Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, maybe, I mean, soldier sounds good. Cause like that's post world war two. Yeah. We are the good guys of the world. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think American GI. It's not a GI. Ugh. You're getting, you're warm. I will say it's, it is an occupation. Hmm. Huh. Is, is it a cop? Is it a police? Officer? I was thinking maybe cop. No. Yeah. Cause like fifties is very conforming yeah. society. I, it's like, it's not going to... Wait, is this for adults or children? I mean, probably children. This is, children. Uh, literally, yeah. this 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 Reader's Digest uh, description says, and maybe this is a hint, young boys and men alike uh, okay. found, so their he- found their heroes in this... Oh, cowboy. There you go. Yeah. You got it. Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. This is, I'll read the uh, the description here. Uh, Hollywood had an obsession with Westerns yeah. at the yeah, time yeah. from John Wayne to Gene Autry to Roy Rogers. Young boys and men alike had found their <laughs> heroes, and that was reflected on Halloween night. Do you want up, actually? All right. 1960. 
What do we think was the most popular Halloween costume? 60 could be astronaut. That's post John Glenn, right? Or was that early 60s? Um, 1960, it's, I feel like 1970 maybe an astronaut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was after we kicked the moon's ass. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, 1960. Ad man. <laughs> uh, fuck. Do you want a hint? Yeah. This was definitely influenced by something pretty historically significant happening right around this time. JFK? Mm-mm. Is it JFK? Is it a Catholic priest? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's it's. I know I don't want to say politically related because I think that's gonna send you down okay. the wrong. Uh, it's is it Elvis by this point? No, but no. Elvis tangentially kind of soldier. No, no, no. <laughs> well, he's he's tangentially related to this kind of phenomenon. This thing. Is it just kind of generic, like rock oh, like star? rockabilly? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Let me let me see. Um, hmm. This is, I think, is this, it like Frank Sinatra, kind of like mm-mm. okay. So this costume, I think, you can associate with an aesthetic that became very popular as a result of something historically significant that happened right around this time. Nineteen sixty, historically significant. I'm just thinking Cold War shit. Yeah, I feel like there's right? not an aesthetic. Like it, we're still gonna... before Vietnam. And hippies aren't yeah. there yet. Yeah. We're so, before civil rights, which I mean, would like be a bad Nick, Halloween but, costume. Yeah, uh, not beatnik. Uh, yeah, like a historical thing in 1960, right around 1960, late 50s. Um, uh, can we have one more hint? Yeah. You... Okay, one more hint. Um. Going back to Elvis. Yeah. Think about his movies. Oh, is it like Hawaii something? Is it like yeah, a surfer? Yeah, is it like a surfer? Not a surfer. A lifeguard? Mm-mm. Just like a... Think a bit more appropriative. Oh, like oh, a tiki dancer? Yeah, uh, like a, a hula dancer. A hula, hula dancer, yep. Oh. Hula girl. This, I'll read the, the caption. To say that Americans were fascinated with Hawaii in the 50s and 60s would be an understatement. Uh, what with World War II service meant. So you weren't totally off uh, there. Okay. Returning with stories of a nearby paradise, South Pacific making waves on Broadway and in theaters, and Hawaii officially becoming oh. the 50th U.S. state on August 21st, 1959. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Grass skirts, okay. Hawaiian shirts, silk flowers, and tiki bars took the country and Halloween by storm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Hey, this is fun. Isn't it fun? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun look back at at U.S. culture. If yeah. it wasn't appropriate, I feel like Molly would be a cute little hula girl. She would be a cute but, little hula dancer. But the Shih Tzus aren't Hawaiian. They're Chinese. I do, some year for Chinese New Year, want to dress her up as a little lion. Ooh. A little Chinese like a New lion? Year lion. Because Shih Tzus are from China. They're yeah. little lion dogs. Yeah. All right. 1964. Oh, okay. Now I think we're getting in astronaut times. Uh, or space pre- race is yeah, on. Yeah, it's on. It's yeah, like JFK already was like, "We're gonna go kick that." We're gonna go ass. to the moon. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not that. Okay, okay. It's it's. I mean, Vietnam is happening, but it's not really. Uh, yeah, it's about to be a big thing, but not enough for like hippies. Uh, are we into British invasion? Is this Ooh, a, is yeah, this the, the Beatles? Beatles? Yes, yeah. the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This is brought, like... 1960. The Beatles were on the Ed Sullivan Show in February 1964. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And all, then later that year, it's already a big-ass thing. I mean, that that I mean, early crappier Meet the Beatles Beatles is probably their most popular, right? Because I feel like, don't they start to turn people off when they get weird and good? I'm not sure commercially what would... what at, Like, contemporarily, what was their biggest... I'm what just thinking, their, like, like mainstream audience is probably... There are more people going to be into, like... The first love couple do there. Yeah, yeah. Than, you know... This, uh, this, <laughs> Norwegian one. This has some additional <laughs> trivia. Uh, this is a poll taken. It says 50 years later. So what's 50 years after 19... 94? Yeah. That seems... Like a weird dated poll to use actually in this. But according to a CBS News poll, who was people's favorite Beatle? Surveyed 50 years ago. Ringo. After. Lennon. It's it got to be John. It was Paul McCartney. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is everyone's uh, grandma. 
<laughs> he is a nice grandma. I was telling Chelsea that Billy Joe Armstrong reminds me of Paul McCartney. He feels like an American Paul McCartney. I feel like maybe if you saw him in person, because now he's in his 50s. I know. I was like, he's got the grandma dance moves he's, going um, on, do you think? No, he's a little, a little bit more punk than that, but he did, you know, he did struggle getting the audience to participate. But granted, that was the end of a twelve-hour festival. Sure, yeah, everyone's coming down. Everyone's from real tired. And we're like, come on, on, Billy, quit! Like, but he would like, he would like, you know, keep the band playing while he was like, no, not until you all are like really into him. We're like, Billy, just please play the song. Uh, I really enjoyed the show, but I did, I do feel like he was starting to get into like, just like older guy. I don't know. I like him. He, he, Green Day is classic rock now. Uh, is of. classic punk a term? It's going to be. Yeah, because that's what that would be. Hey, want to talk to you about our first sponsor this week, Cook Unity. Cook Unity provides fresh, handcrafted meals designed by professional chefs and delivered right to your door. They're made daily in regional micro kitchens and delivered fully cooked to you in as few as four or as many as 16 meals per week. Then all you need to do is heat it up. Their wide range of meals includes over seven dietary preferences to choose from, like dairy-free, paleo, gluten-free, low sodium, and more. James and I have been enjoying meals like their vegan rigatoni vodka with pine nut parmesan made by Chef Cami Sepaveda, their honey sesame crispy chicken with steamed rice made by Chef Ruben Garcia, and their Mexican pulled chicken bowl with rice, beans, and chipotle crema made by Chef Dustin Taylor, an LA local. Try Cook Unity for yourself and get 50% off your first order by going to cookunity.com slash deadmeat or clicking the link in the description and using the code deadmeat50. Our next sponsor this week is Fume. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about using witchcraft or turning to the occult. We're talking about our sponsor Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit. Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. Your Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. I personally really like the crisp mint flavor. It has a nice cooling effect and feels really refreshing on my airways. The device is also genuinely fun to play with. It makes this really nice clicky sound and has a satisfying weight to it. And it just looks classy. The metal and wood have such a nice look. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code DEADMEAT to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code DEADMEAT to save an additional 10% off your order today. All right, 1969. Hippie. It, no, it's it, it's probably astronaut. Yeah, it's astronaut. It's astronaut. Yeah, I, that was moon landing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I, I bet hippie probably isn't a popular costume until during the, 90s. the time. No, of absolutely it. Yeah. not. Yeah, because yeah, you'd get you know the more popular oh, parents would be like, not in my house. Exactly. <laughs> the, the version of that would be a uh, flapper, a, a Romani person. That's the and you know now I feel like a hippie. It's like okay, here's whatever crap we have in the closet here you're a hippie oh, <laughs> i feel like the 60s sure. version of that is oh, okay. I see. Yeah, a yeah, traveler yeah. a fortune teller <laughs> like yeah. a stereotypical fortune teller yeah 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 uh but yes 1969 astronaut, astronaut that's three months after neil armstrong that's not an easy costume though an astronaut? Yeah. I'm sure by this it was point probably you've got fish costume. bowls and yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure at this point you've got costume stores because Halloween's becoming such a like a cottage industry that mm -hmm. you've got stores now that sell the like packet cheap. the where they they're plastic, you take them out of the bag, they smell like shit. Yeah. I'm sure it's they're that very kinda, loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, nineteen seventy four. Okay. Seventy four. Uh, Nixon. <laughs> it is Richard Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Reader's Digest says, political masks do well when there's a scandal or a tagline that's memorable. Uh, Political masks also tend to pop up during election years, though things are slightly different today than they used to be. Uh, Apparently, up until Trump's election, sales of candidates' masks were a a fairly good indicator of the winner of an upcoming election. Uh, But with Trump, uh, this was, I think... 2020... Yes. I'm it, sure masks of yes. Trump outsold masks of Biden. Yes, ma- the, it mm-hmm. says the Trump Trump mask sold really well, but uh, retailers couldn't tell if it's because people supported him or were buying them to make fun of him. To make a TikToks, joke. yeah. <laughs> also, fun fact, Richard Nixon's I'm Not a Crook speech was made in Disney World, and that's some of my favorite <laughs> Disney trivia at the Contemporary <laughs> Resort in Florida. The Beatles, checkers. the Beatles also broke up at Disney World at the Polynesian. Do you, think, do you think Checkers ever wore a pumpkin outfit? I bet Checkers wore a pumpkin <laughs> outfit, yeah. Oh, Checkers. <laughs> You're such a cute little pumpkin baby. <laughs> Come here, Checkers. I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the, our last one in this kind of category. Okay. Uh, 1996. Oh, geez. You'll just skip the 80s. Grunge musician. N- 96? 96. Because uh, by then, grunge is like... Done. Oh, 96 could be hippie. Oh, yeah. no. Although, yeah, there was a big. Oh, Spice Girls. The Spice Girls, oh, you got 96? it. 96? Oh, I would have yeah, figured yeah, like 97. Yeah. The Spice Girls Six. dropped their debut album, Spice, in 1996. What was on that debut album? Wannabe. Wannabe was. Oh, that was, oh, that right was off the, the fucking bat. Yeah, I yeah. liked Spice World better. Really? It was a little more mature, I feel, right? Which one had, uh, there, uh, uh, dun, dun. And something is bad That was enough. Spice World, I think. But I think that was Spice World. Yeah, yeah. I think that was Spice World. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that song Who was. do you think was the most popular Spice Girl? Mm. Ginger. Ginger was able to go solo. That was and, an easy costume. Fail. So I feel like... Oh, yeah, baby. The Union Jack, though. Well, baby. It was Baby Spice. Yeah, was really? baby. Yeah. Baby, baby. Mm. Um, I think Baby Spice was weird trivia, but I think Prince William... I like famously had a crush on baby on spice. Baby yeah, spice? just very nineties trivia. <laughs> for yeah. You. All oh, right, man. We're moving to Halloween candy. Was that considered? Was was that like second British invasion? Was that yes? Ever yeah, called that? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Because so, what yeah. else besides Spice Girls would have been Brit Pop, like Blur, Brit, and yeah, Oasis? Blur and yeah. Oasis. Um, uh, does Austin Powers count? <laughs> I think it would. It probably was, was able. to. I think it was a response. Yeah, to that. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, I mean, were the other... James Bond movies getting popular again? That was, yeah, Brosnan. That was Brosnan. Yeah, yeah. Brosnan. Yeah. Brosnan. yeah, Brosnan really brought it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So these stats for Halloween candy come from CandyStore.com. Oh, CandyStore.com, I guess, they do these <laughs> stats every year, and it's a mix of... It's basically just an aggregate of sales statistics and also reviews from CandyStore.com, because I think they're basically the biggest, like... If you want to buy candy online and in bulk and shit, you get it from there. Okay. I don't know. I trust them. Stuff like, I don't know, like like uh, the morning show or whatever, whenever they do fluff segments with candy stats, they're using candystore.com. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do we think is the most popular candy nationwide? Popular Halloween Reese's. candy. I think I'm, I might go with Reese's because I feel like. Or like maybe M and M's. What do you think? You look I, distressed over this, Chris. Because I like feel a camera on you. Most popular candy. Uh-huh. Like, there's so many candies. Yeah, but it's gonna be one of the big ones. It's right? gotta be M and M's, right? I think probably M and M's. Or is it like Hershey Kisses? It can't be. No. I mean, they kind of suck. They Do suck, though. You yeah. want me to tell you? If it's, it's it's none of the ones we've said. It it is. One, it oh, is. I think it's Reese's. <laughs> It's either Reese's I or M&M's. Peanut butter cups, yeah. The top two, number one is Reese's, number two is okay. M&M's. Yeah. So you nailed the top yes, two. for sure. <laughs> um, we've got uh, <laughs> number three, which is, in, number three is interesting because I would not have guessed. Is it, is uh, it Three Musketeers? Is it no, Almond but I Joys? love Three Musketeers. No, fuck Almond Joys. She, she hates Almond Joys. I don't like Almond Joys. Uh, number three is hot tamales. What the fuck? Isn't that bizarre? We would have I mean, never guessed. I, you would have no, never guessed it. Yeah. I love hot tamales, but... That's number three. Yeah, number apparently. Number three is shocking. For a Halloween candy? Yeah, they come the Are little. Are they cinnamon? Yeah. 
All right. Number four, Skittles. Number five, oh. Sour Patch Kids. I'm glad Skittles got so high up. I love them. Although, wasn't there talk about them being carcinogenic or something? I probably. I'm sure it's the dye or something. Right. Yeah, probably. But I think... You can suck that I off think, and there's your, the weird white little... Well, shows. I think with the, the dyes and stuff being carcinogenic, you'd have to eat so much of it. How many... Uh, how many shots of Skittles vodka made by a college student would you? <laughs> you guys, did you guys ever do that in college? Yeah. No, I hate Skittles. Oh, Skittles are my favorite candy. Skittles. But yeah, you, you, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yes. You like put Skittles in a thing of vodka for like days. You let it sit and there. And let it sit there. And then yeah. you like filter out all the gunk. And then you have... It, it, was, it was never as good as it was promised to be. <laughs> the same process as like very high-end infusions. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number six, Starburst. Yeah. Number seven, Hershey Starburst, Kisses, Starburst. which I think Hershey Kisses are disgusting. Wait, I'm sorry. You like Starburst, but don't like Skittles? They're very different. Yeah, they're different. They have a different texture. I guess. Different flavor. I mean, they're, they're like totally my two different. favorite candies because they're they're fruity. I don't care for chocolate too much. Yeah. But No, I like Star- Starburst. Oh. Yeah. What, what's your favorite color? Pink. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Number eight, Candy Corn. Okay. Number nine, Hershey mini bars. Number 10, Snickers. Oh. So yeah, I think this was like just raw like sales statistics. Sure. So it yeah. makes sense that candy corn is, is up, up there. there. You yeah, just you it. just get it. Yeah. You're just compelled You to have it, it around yeah. for help, which uh-huh. I love candy corn, she but she loves it. Not everyone else. Loves yeah, it. and I feel like Snickers is definitely the biggest of the, you know, take three two to three and mix it out of chocolate, nougat. nougat Nuts, caramel caramel yeah 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 mix like them a together cookie yeah yeah because there's like snickers three musketeers twix. Almond Joy, twix i love yeah. twix uh, twix milky like way milky way yeah i still cannot tell you the difference between a lot of them milky way has no crunch correct <gasps> why are you growling oh are you she wants at? to play and molly we can't play we can't we're play. working we're i know it doesn't look like it because we're talking about candy but <laughs> this is work this pays for your food <laughs> okay there you go. All, All right. right. We're going to move on to worst Halloween candy. Oh. This Okay, so this is according to um so what they did because you can't quantify really yeah, like zero sales. Yeah. So <laughs> this is uh they aggregated a shit ton of worst Halloween candy lists and also used feedback from their their online store. And this is still candystore.com? This is still candystore.com. Okay. What do you think is considered the worst Halloween candy. Ever. It's candy corn. It's got to be. It's either candy corn or what are those watermelon wrappers over hard candy? You know. Oh what I'm God, talking about? do those have a name? I don't think they do, and they that's why watermelon. Wrapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're t- the like fancy foil wrap. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Those are fucking garbage. Those are awful. Or I guess just like the black and orange wax paper around like what's that taffy? The, yeah, like taffy, that, like, taffy, taffy or gum. Any of the ones that I got as a kid and was like, is this legal? Licorice like, is black licorice. Ooh, hmm. It's hmm. got to be up there. You haven't guessed number Mike one yet. No, we haven't. No. N- ner- nerds. No. Get out of here with that. Nerds are good. They're not satisfying to get. I don't little know. Tiny I little like box them. Little nerds. boxes. Yeah. I what guess. about Nerds Rope? You ever have that? No. You never had Nerds Rope. Oh, Nerds Rope. Does that even exist anymore? That seems like a weird kind of '90s invention. We haven't guessed the top one yet. No. Is it a is it a brand like is it it's not just like wax paper? No, it is a bra- it is a specific. Yeah, it's not just like licorice. It's this is a okay. specific thing, and it is truly it probably is one of the most evil candies. God, what is it? I it, we're we're gonna we're gonna know it as soon as you say it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, evil candies. It's not. I used to. I'll say I used to like these when I was a kid until one time I ate too many of them and made myself feel very sick, and now I can't. Is it those caramel apple things? Mm-mm. Is it a cho- is it in the realm of chocolate? No, in the chocolate sphere. Okay, no, it's not a chocolate, chocolate sphere. Is more of a Christmas thing. <laughs> yeah, the orange. It's one. not <laughs> chocolatey and it's not fruity either. Whoa. Okay. So it's yeah. It's a, a weird flavor. It's like licorice or cinnamon or um. What are their weird candies of? Is I'll say. It I sour? think. A, I think a big. Uh, thing that people don't like about these is the texture. Hmm. Is it a gummy? No. I hate gummies. 
I don't really like gummies either. I'm fine with gummies, gummy worms, gummy bears. Mm, no, no you guys they're just like kind of nothing Mm-mm. to me. Oh, yeah. I kind of like them. Not my favorite. What's the gum? What's the gummy bears that make you shit? The Haribu? the sugar free ones. Yeah. The diet gummy bears. I still have, I've never fucked around with them, but I do kind of want to fuck around. Just to see what, Just happens. see what happens. Just like, did they fix this yet? <laughs> <laughs> Cut to. <laughs> That can be a Patreon podcast. <laughs> it's we eat a bunch of sugar-free gummy bears and we record until one of us has to <laughs> yeah. run and use the bathroom. <laughs> and we see how long it takes. Oh, no. Oh, that's awful. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm giving you both one last guess and I'm just telling I'm, you. I'm so mad I can't get this. Uh, 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 airheads. No. Circus peanuts. Oh, Yeah. Circus peanuts are a candy? Yeah, no, you know what? They're like the marshmallow. Guys. Oh, are they marshmallowy? Yeah, they're just like shitty Ugh. marshmallow. Yeah, they're bad they're marshmallow is bad. Gross. I, yeah. yeah. You guessed candy corn. That's number two. Wow. Okay. Uh, and yet eighth most purchased. The name for <laughs> those orange and black candies is apparently peanut butter kisses. And that's number four on this list. Do they taste like peanut butter? They're basically, I had to Google a bunch of these because I realized I, I was like, I don't like these, but I couldn't tell you what they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're basically, it's like peanut butter taffy. Okay. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. It, yeah. No. But yeah. They, they seem so sketch because there's do. nothing on There's them. no yeah. label. It's like, who made this? Yeah. You also guessed licorice. Licorice is number eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, but. The other ones you haven't guessed yet. Wow, what are they? Do you want me to just tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Number three, Necco wafers. Okay. Number five, wax cola bottles. Oh, those are bad. They do suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah the The payoff is so not worth yep. it. Yep. Number six, Mary Janes, which yep, are also basic. Bad. They're also a. Uh, are those apple? What are no, those? Mary Jane's Mary also Jane's. a peanut butter and molasses flavor. That's taffy. another one of those wax paper ones. That's yeah. like this is tra- this is just trash. Number seven and James, I think you'll agree with me when this one's upsetting and and wrong. Smarties. Oh, I do disagree with that. I like. Smarties. I like. I, also I like, like the Smarties. They're, they're just Smarties. sugar. Yeah, they're just sugar it's pills. Good. Right. It's fine. Uh, number nine, bit of honeys. Also bad. Yeah. They are, this is that genre of like, oh, just, this is an old person's house. Exactly. They're yeah, always the yeah. ones left. Yeah. Bit of honeys are honey based candies with almonds in them. It's that t- actually sounds good now as no. an adult. <laughs> like actual almonds? Yeah, there's or like uh like almond pieces, I think. Oh wow. Yeah, I like gross. almonds. I like almonds too, but I don't want like fucking honey taffy, did you say? That's true. I'm not a it big says honey, honey based confection. <laughs> I just copied that from Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. Um, here. Molly's fucking wild now. No, I think she's she wants to go on her nighttime walk. I think <laughs> number ten Tootsie Rolls for worst. I think Tootsie Rolls are great. They're disappointing. I like, I like Tootsie Rolls. I don't it's dislike fine. them. It really depends. The fat ones suck. Yeah. The little ones are whatever. The long skinny ones I think are the best. Tootsie Rolls. I would agree. Yeah. Yes. I like Tootsie, Tootsie Pops. Pops. Those are where it's also at. Very good. Yeah. 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 Moving on to some surveys done by YouGov, the political polling place. I mean, they do surveys of apparently everything. Their website's actually kind of fun to click around. There's so much. <laughs> just every category of thing you could possibly imagine. They've done surveys on it. Uh, in a survey done in 2021 by YouGov, how many Americans pretend not to be home when trick-or-treaters knock at the door? A, 12%. B, 18%. C, 21%, or D, 26%. I'm going to say 26%, and I'm surprised it's that low. I'm going to say 21. It was C, 21%. Yeah, baby. Yes. Uh, Apparently, more than three in five Americans, so that like 63%, are ready for Halloween trick-or-treaters and would give them candy or treats if they came knocking. Apparently, um, British people are much more likely than Americans to say they would (laughs) pretend not to be home. Although, to be fair, Halloween's not as huge of a deal over there as it is in the United States. Um, so we've got 21% of Americans pretending not to be home. Um, 2% say they would answer the door but give them nothing, which is extremely funny to me. What? British people, uh, 43% of British people uh, say they would 
pretend not to be home. Wow. Oh, I thought you were about to say that 43% would give them nothing. Just give them like, nothing. Like, oh, just brutal Brits. <laughs> oh, man, no. Like, what are you... What are those 2% of people saying when they open the door? They're just like, oh, hey, sorry, bye. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's bizarre to me. When asked to describe their choice of Halloween costume for a 2022 YouGov poll, which of the following adjectives was most commonly answered? A, simple, B, scary, C, funny, or D, sexy? Wait, who's who's being polled here? I'm guessing adults. I think funny. I think, I think if you're asking people to describe their own costumes, they're going to say, oh, this year it's hilarious. You're going to love it. But I feel like even if your costume was a funny thing because it was sexy blank, you would still say sexy blank. You know, like if it's like sexy Mr. Clean, that's funny, but you would still say sexy Mr. Clean. I think I think sexy has a window of, oh. of popularity and that transitions into funny after like if like if, if, if this is a phone survey of yeah. adults, yeah. you know, you're going to get people in it's their 40s and stuff. Yeah, no, no definitely like not actually scary. trying to scare Zero the first one simple. Simple might be a self description because it's like, ah, you know, I like doing it, but I, I want to be comfortable. I feel like down to, uh, do, do you have the rankings of the four? Mm -hmm. My guess is simple, funny, sexy, scary. Actually, it's the ranking is there's 10 of them, 10 adjectives. Oh, well, out of those four, I'm going to say simple, funny, sexy, scary. Which is also the name of my favorite Chili Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny, simple. Gressel's correct. Yeah. It is funny, funny first. Okay. The full list: number one, funny; number two, simple; a uh, three, unique; four, creative; five, sexy; six, scary; seven, relevant; eight, <laughs> extravagant; nine, other; ten, not sure. I think people have a high opinion of their own. Yeah. Unique. Yeah, unique and creative. Okay. Mm, like, that high up. Sure. Okay. I've been to Halloween parties. Yeah. 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 For sure. I'm sure uh, uh, <laughs> my trainer was just telling me that he, he knows a pair of brothers who uh, one of them is really into costumes, the other's not. And so the one who always is into them tries to come up with fun costumes for them and was like, I'm going to be Abraham Lincoln and we're going to dress you like a park and we'll be Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. And then when his brother said no, he was like, okay, how about I wear the LinkedIn symbol and you dress up like a park and we'll be LinkedIn <laughs> Park. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> LinkedIn Park. According to a 2022 YouGov poll, how many Americans believe they've experienced a paranormal encounter? Oh, so a, oh, we have options. Yeah, 26%. B, 35%. C, 48%. Or D, 67%. I'm going to say 48. I also will say 48. 67% of Americans Whoa. believe they've experienced a paranormal encounter. Uh, they're also, they categorized what these encounters would be. They had people describe okay. what, what do you think was the most common Ghost. kind of, ex well, more specific than that. A visit from a dead loved one. Mm, yeah. I'll give you an example of what this list okay. kind of. Uh, so also, what would you guys answer to this question of, have you experienced a paranormal thing? I would hmm. it's hard because I've experienced weird shit that I can't explain but if you were in this survey and they asked you this question it's just yes or no yeah. I would say no but that's because I have a negative connotation with the idea of a paranormal encounter and I don't think I've had a negative encounter okay and anything that I would say would be like paranormal of like oh ghosts or whatever I was a child and mm -hmm. it was probably just and my brain, brain figuring it out yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so i would probably say no uh, even though i'm not a full skeptic the okay. way you are yeah, yeah obviously i would say no i don't know what i would say you gov is calling you they've they <laughs> they're threatening <laughs> molly they have a gun to molly's head yes or no <laughs> <laughs> you gov not asking about the election not asking yeah. about <laughs> um i'm gonna say Yes, for one specific experience that I found very weird and like too, 
I don't know. Okay. It was with a, a a friend of a friend who was a psychic. Oh yeah, yeah. You've told me about this. Yeah. Okay. And I can't. I'll I'll tell the story after I um. Okay. Kind of go through this list. So uh, <laughs> an example of the types of phenomena are on here. Uh, like number nine, seeing a door open or close without explanation. That's number eh. nine. Mm-hmm. I would not. I would not say yes to you gov for that yeah so number so. one the most common kind of experience is feeling an unknown presence or entity okay number two is hearing an unexplained sound or music number three smelling an unexplained odor do you have any other guesses for what could feeling be an here? unexplained touch <laughs> number five is feeling an unexplained change in temperature okay mm. Uh, Tasting an unexplained lights. taste. <laughs> yeah, Just go through right. the senses. <laughs> Actually, Grizzly, you did number ten is seeing a spirit or ghost. There you go. Okay. Number four, hearing the voice of someone who wasn't there. Number six, seeing lights or other devices turn on mm-hmm. or off without explanation. Number mm-hmm. seven, seeing an object move without explanation. Uh, number eight, seeing unexplained orbs of light. Oh, orbs. Uh, ten, or number nine was the door. Uh, 10, seeing a spirit or ghost. 11, seeing an angel. 12, seeing unexplained smoke. And 13, seeing a demon, <laughs> which feels I'm very I'm surprised, I mean like, would, would, this is splitting hairs, I guess, but with angel, is that paranormal or is that religious? Yeah. I don't know. The line is, experience? I mean, the line's well, blurry. Sure, right. Also, is it like baby with wings or is it like wheel with wheel, wheel, eyes? Yeah. a bunch of <laughs> eyes? Biblically yeah, accurate. Biblically, yeah. <laughs> My experience that kind of makes me say yes, because this truly feels like a weird, um, like just thing I can't explain. Uh, I, I had a friend of a friend who was a psychic who did a free reading for me and I was still in college and it it was during the summer and I was having a hard time finding a summer job. And I asked like, am I, am I going to find like a a cool job for the summer? Like what, what am I going to end up, you know, just kind of a, like a fluff question. I was like, what kind of, what am I going to end up doing this summer? And he tells me, he's like, this is, it's like, I don't know if this, if this makes sense to you or resonates with you, but I see you with, I see measuring tape. I see like, I see measuring tape like around your neck. And that meant nothing to me at the time, right? I was like weird, specific, whatever. Um, I got hired the next week, I think, to work at Victoria's Secret. Uh, yeah. And the uniform for Victoria's Secret, if, if you work there, you know this, you wear all black and you wear a measuring tape around your neck so you can measure women uh, for bras. That's the one thing where I don't understand. Yeah. Because I wouldn't, I, I can't remember if I'd applied there or not at that point, but I wouldn't have like po- put that anywhere or told him. Mm-hmm. It, that one's weird to me because I know how cold readings work too from a psychic. It'd be something like, "Oh, you're going to you're going to have a job where you work with, you know, you work with a lot of people, you talk with people or like you work with computers. Like most jobs are on the fucking computer now, right? But that is that's a weird one to Very me. Very specific, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the thing that would maybe And make that me. would give you make you say yes. I think so because that's so Yeah. I don't know. Like that seems Spooky to me. Spooky. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Interestingly, even though sixty-seven percent of Americans say they've they think they've had a paranormal experience, forty-one percent of Americans believe ghosts exist. Yeah. I guess twenty. I don't know. I, I guess that could make sense. You could believe in the paranormal, but not believe in just ghosts. Saying that does around. seem weird, though. That right. It seems gap? like yeah. it seems like that's a very big. Gap. I feel like if you believe in the paranormal. Ghost is like the go-to thing well, to believe in. What is the umbrella of paranormal? Does that include aliens? aliens? Yeah, that's a good mm-hmm. question. Because mm-hmm. you could definitely believe in aliens and not ghosts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or cryptids. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, exactly. What does paranormal mean? Um, I guess I think aliens would count under paranormal. I, I think so. Yeah. Anything featured on the X-Files? Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. According to a 2022 YouGov poll, how many Americans have read a book by Stephen King? Ooh. A, 19%, B, 36%, C, 52%, or D, 71%? 
I'm going to say 36. I, I That also feels right. I feel like most reading Americans have probably read Stephen King. And mo- and reading Americans is probably under 50%. Under 50% yeah. 52% of Americans wow. say that they've read a book by Stephen King. Granted, I, I wonder if this is one of those cases where you have to think about who is YouGov polling? Mm, who is yeah. answering a mm. YouGov poll? Is it self-selected? Is it, yeah. But I mean, Stephen King's very popular. One of the most so prolific authors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of books. A lot of books. A lot of books. Out of his books, which Stephen King book is most widely read by Americans? Ooh. A. Carrie. B. Pet Cemetery. C. It or D. Cujo. Carrie's the easiest. I want to say far. Carrie, just because yeah, like it's not going to be it. That thing's a doorstop. That thing's big. Cujo's. It could be Cujo. It, those also Cujo. came out in a time where I feel like more people probably would have read them. Sure, there was less to do, you know, less distractions, fewer distractions. Yeah, just fewer options. Uh, and Pet Cemetery is fucking depressing. That's a that's a tough one. Um, I'm, I got to go with Carrie because it's his first one, so it's been out the longest. Oh, sure. That's a good point. It's one of his shortest ones. It's easy to read. I'm going to go with Carrie. I think Carrie. It's Carrie. Uh, the percentage of U.S. adults who say they've read at least one Stephen King, out of those people, mm-hmm. 41% read Carrie. Okay. Have at least read Carrie. Carry. Actually, tied for that 41%, I had to pick one or the other, was The Shining. So Carrie and oh, The Shining yeah. are the two most read that, Stephen King. Yeah, I probably Shining's would have said long. Shining if it was on the list. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That Just is the also popularity that of the it. Mo- mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. According to a 2021 YouGov poll, when is the earliest acceptable time to display Halloween decorations? Mm. A, between October 16th and 30th. This is the earliest acceptable yeah, yeah, yeah. time. B, between Labor Day and September 30th. C, between October 1st and 15th. Or D, on Halloween. Yeah, let me put all this shit up for one day. Take it down the next. October when 1st was to this? 15th. This was 2021. 2021. I think Labor Day. Halloween's getting big. It is. Thank you. Keep that going. Uh, but there's still a bunch of fucking normies out there. So I'm going to say October 1st is probably what people are saying. Is between October 1st and 15th, 43% agree that that's the that's earliest, the earliest acceptable time, which I disagree. I, I think disagree. September, like last half of September is totally fine. Or beginning of September, thing. fuck it. Yeah. Uh, 6% of Americans say they never find Halloween decorations acceptable. Well. I want, that's got to be what, like. The fucking Christmas people. Or like. <laughs> I think like Jeho- is it Jehovah's Witness? I forget which, like who like does not celebrate yeah, Halloween. Like, oh, for like religious like reasons. Seventh Day Adventists, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No birthdays even mm. is a thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's all of my trivia. Oh. Okay. That's it. I'm sorry. Were you expecting more trivia? I just was expecting a, a heads up. <laughs> that oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's you just, it. You just cut us off there. Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're cut off. You've had enough. You didn't keep score or anything. I know. No, I know. We should have <laughs> kept score. No, this was just for funsies. The funsies. Yeah. I liked it. Thanks for doing the the research for finding that. It was fun. I went down several rabbit holes that I needed to pull myself out of to <laughs> focus on <laughs> because it'll because you guys will recommend other polls and categories Uh, and that's fun to kind of look at but they have they're kind of sorted by holidays or genres the stephen king one was an entire like because they're they're kind of organized by like groups and stephen king had like a whole like series of of surveys it was kind of cool nice yeah well, thanks. I hope everyone's having a good spooky season. Good October. Mm-hmm. Hope you've been enjoying the stuff on the channel. Uh, Kill counts the the weekly streams. You know I'm doing those, Kressel. I did see that. The yeah. Monday morning streams. Yeah. yeah, almost slept through this one. So mm-hmm. I woke up at eight forty five. Like, oh fuck, I'm supposed to be doing this thing now. So, got my ass down there, made some coffee. <laughs> well, thank you for. For tuning in and enjoy your Halloween. We'll be back next time with, I think, a movie review. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you want to commit to it? I think so. Okay. We're going to do Noroi. Yeah, Noroi. What's the subtitle the curse, of it? Right? The Curse. 
yeah and found that's... footage I, i've never seen i've always wanted to see it mm -hmm. and i'm don't start with that okay we're wrapping up this i'm abruptly cutting this episode because our dog is throwing a tantrum and wants either dinner or to go poop so until <laughs> next time uh social media is at demi james at carebeck c-r-e-b-e-c-c -E -E twitter and instagram if you want merch demistore.com we've got cool new uh demi video store merch it's really nice You're all right ruining everything Mom. no <laughs> she's fine uh until next time that's james i'm chelsea that's Gressel, and thanks for watching the Demi Podcast. Bye. <laughs>